Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure Microtech CCR 1036 router. So, first thing you're going to do is power serve the source, um, uh, the unit on, and uh, go to the Microtech.com uh, website, which we will do right now. Um, if you're on the download page on the Microtech.com downloads, and then go to the CCR which um, and then download the main package <coughs> and download the win box once you've downloaded them start the win box open your download folder <coughs> shut down everything which you don't need and now comes the tricky part if you are connected directly to the Microtech router, you can go over layer 2. If you have active devices in between, you need to get into the same range as the unit itself is. My range is, I'm going to change it right now, to the unit's range. You can try and it will work also uh, using layer 2 with a MAC address. I just want to make sure and using layer 3. Okay, connecting to this device on port 1, and here we go. So, um, after we're setting the device or packing it out of the box, uh, you will receive uh, this information. You can either remove all configuration, then you'll u lose the IP address too. Or you just press OK and uh, connect yourself to port 1, I hope, and uh, check the interfaces if they're running. This is R, R for running. I'm going to mark it using the comment sign. And this is my management interface. Management, LAN, local area, and this is my WAN from my ISP. <coughs> this will become my uh, DHCP server, DHCP from my LAN. And now they will receive IP addresses. So, <coughs> um, my LAN would be this here dot ten dot uh, one hundred and ten would be my router and a subnet mask from twenty four and that will be my interface too. My second interface will be my LAN interface and my LAN interface will uh, get this public IP address and it's in a 29 mask range and my WAN interface will be over here and that's done. <coughs> the next step is I'm going to create a, a route and I can see that the route is already active over here and the gateway is 25 so I will add the gateway 25 <coughs> and it's reachable on the interface I will now check if I have ping internet and I can ping the internet now I have to take care of my clients now. Okay, let's uh, get starting and creating the first DHCP server. Uh, we do the uh, easiest way is using the DHCP setup. Uh, we're going to use it on our, our interface Ethernet 2 and just checking Ethernet 2. Okay. 
and that's where it's going to be and it needs to be in this address range and it's the gateway is 10 and we start off at 11 because of the route itself and we go up to to give out from 11 to 199 so that's the address range next to uh, DNS server release time or we can reduce that to zero and over here to one okay so that was uh, the setup of the DHCP server okay the next thing we need to do is we uh, will create a firewall rule for that network that means firewall uh, NAT yeah NAT and then uh, the uh, source address is going to be that network 10.10.110.1 .10 .10 uh, uh, and it's a slash 24 network and on the action uh, we will uh, what will what wait okay that's the source nat going to the IP address um, going to the IP address uh, this is the IP address so we're just taking this IP address and this is the IP address um, which uh, is supposed to be surfed on so the outgoing one is to be used this one is to be used for outgoing uh, data so to the internet okay let's check if it uh, works we'll go back and set this here to automatic and patch it to port 2 which and plugging it into the port 2 and hoping that I will receive an IP address on port 2 okay got it 10.10.10.10 and let's see if I can ping out ping 8.8.8.8 and perfect Great, it works.